Jacob Sadie. Hey, congratulations for Somewhere in Queens. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you. It is a terrific movie, and uh, Ray Romano's uh, directorial debut, but let's ask that uh, initial question first. What initially attracted you to this project? Sadie, why don't you start? Um, honestly, everything was right there in the script. The first time I read the script, um, I was just so impressed, and I fell in love with it right away. I fell in love with Danny's character and her relationship with Styx and um, all the relationships in, in the movie. Um, but it was just such a well-written script, and obviously it's Ray Romano, and I'm such a fan of his, and uh, I just immediately was like, I need to be in this. Please, please choose me. <laughs> so, What about for you, Jacob? Yeah, same thing. I mean, the script was was uh, was incredible, and then also just the people attached to it, knowing Lori was going to be in it, mm -hmm. Ray was going to be in it, Sebastian and Sadie, and, um, and Ron and Albert, who are some in amazing, amazing producers and really amazing people as well. Um, yeah, it was the people, it was a script, and, mm -hmm. and then I, I felt a really close relationship to Styx as well. Could you talk, could you both talk about the chemistry between you two as Styx and Danny? Sure. There's zero chemistry between us. We actually hate each other. <laughs> um, just kidding. <laughs> so, that was news to me. <laughs> we, like, hung out a ton in New York before we even started filming. We, like, met each other and just kind of really related to each other right off the bat. Um, I don't know. Talk about how much you love me. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I mean, it was it was really awesome to get to work with Sadie because she was kind of someone that I could really turn to with any questions or concerns or insecurities that I had. And and on top of being an amazing friend throughout the entire process, she was also just and is so talented. Mm -hmm. um, and working with talented people makes your job really easy. Okay. So. Okay. okay. He's also incredibly talented and such a great scene partner, and I'm really glad that we had this experience <laughs> together. <laughs> Most excellent. Now, without giving any spoilers away, do you agree with Leo Russo's uh, decision in, in this <laughs> film? Um, Jacob, why don't you start? His his decision to <clears throat> what 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 he has done. Yes. Yeah. I. I... I agree with where he ends up. I do not agree with his way of <laughs> the decisions he makes along the way. Um, but I think it all comes from a place of love, and it comes from a place of him wanting his son to have a better life than than he did. And uh, so I think there's something to there's something really sweet about that. Um, but love can be misguided, and uh, I think it was in that circumstance. How about you, Sadie? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously he gets Danny involved in his uh, bad decisions. Um, so, you know, I can't really talk because Danny is a part of it. But, you know, nobody is perfect. And that's what this movie shows that, um, you know, people love really hard, but they can still, you know, make the wrong choice and or try and do things that, you know, they mean well, but don't work out. So. Most excellent. And, uh, and, and was uh, how how was it uh, Ray Romano uh, directing <clears throat> directorial debut? What was he was he really good at um, what he has done with Somewhere in Queens? Yeah, he was great. I mean, he was so, so impressive for his first time directing. Um, this script is like his baby. This project is like so special to him because it is um, loosely based off of his own life experiences, um, and you could just see that in the way that he directed and the way that he carried himself on set. He was just always making sure that. Um, everybody was good. Everybody was having a good time. Everybody was comfortable in the scene. He cared so much about us as actors, um, gave amazing notes, and was just really present. And yeah, phenomenal job. Yeah, all of those things. And then uh, just being able to be in a scene with him, too. He, he's a really, I think, generous actor and a, obviously a really talented actor. And um, so he, he, he was easy to work with mm -hmm. as well. <clears throat> well, that's excellent. And Jacob, one last question um, just, just for you here. How's your basketball? Um, my basketball is good. <laughs> it's yeah. It's I mean, you know what you see in the in the movie is the entire team having plays drawn up around me being good, uh, which wasn't always the case. But I, I played all through high school, and it's always been a huge piece of my life. Most excellent. Well, you're both good in this uh, film somewhere in Queens. Thank you very much uh, for this conversation. Thank, Thank you. you.